They fly on silver wings. They fight with nerves of steel, partly metal, partly real. They are the Silver Hawks. Born of a time beyond time, they sacrificed their human bodies, modified to withstand the stress of their long journey through space to the galaxy of Limbo, sent there to defend the universe against the terrible Monstar and his intergalactic mob. Yes, ma'am. Buzzsaw, Mumbo Jumbo, Windhammer, Molecular, Poker Face, Hardware, and the musical madness of Melodia. Silver Hawks, their leader, Quicksilver, and his companion, Tally Hawk. The invincible spy satellites and interceptor. The tough as nails super twins, Steel Heart and Steel Will, true to their names in heart, soul, and spirit. Bluegrass, guitar picking ace pilot of their incredible ship, the Mirage. And from the planet of the mines, the Copper Kid. Their commander, Stargazer, directs the team from his orbiting headquarters, Hawk Haven. The Silver Hawks, the first super androids with the minds of men and the muscles of machines. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Don't you take our jarbs. Well, you guys want to sit there and yell and eat. Thank God I got headphones on. You guys give me a headache if I didn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. What up, Posse? Hey, this is Brandon. And I'm Mark. And those are Silverhawks, and this is part two. Well, We're all Silverhawks fans. Those are the complete collection on DVD. You are not. I'm, I'm a whatever. I don't care. You don't like Silverhawks. <laughs> that is my collectible in-the-box mint sealed Silverhawks play um, color forms playset, which I have tried to open so many times and talk myself out of. And in front of us, we have you shut up and Mark (laughs) show us the bad guys. The red death. Say hello to the the bad bad guys. Look at those bad guys. Go ahead. Who is the first one on deck? You. No, I'm. That is Monstar. That kind of looks like the evil Ryu guy. I, you know, you get three heads, yeah. three okay. sets of hands. So I do like the fact that they do have three heads. This is an incredibly expensive toy, and obviously, look at the packaging alone. I, I don't think I could possibly. The open fact that. that I got them on sale is the only reason I bought them. I wasn't gonna. This one was like eighty dollars. Yeah, by but the itself. thing, thing about really? this Chad though is that you can slide it out and then you can put it back in and put the box back in if you want to. That's cheating. It's not cheating. That's like Kobayashi Maru and shit. Exactly. Okay, I'll, I'll do that. This guy <laughs> reminds me of Brandon. What's this guy's problem? Oh, yeah, it does. I don't Wait. remember who that was. He wears his loincloth. Oh, Windhammer. Like okay. The Storm Master. Interesting. Windhammer was one of the smaller uh, bad guys. He he didn't... He was kind of was a hench... On there yeah, much, he was on right? like the beginning of the... like. The first two-hour episode, he was on that a lot, but they were introducing all of the characters at that point. So, what was the uh, the gambling Man, look guy? Look at this! Look at this guy. Uh, poker face. Yes, I'll be getting that one for you. Pa, 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 poker He's face. He's awesome, nah, man. Nah, nah, nah. Talk about a a re- from the concepts of these bad guys are simple. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? And simple. <laughs> There's well, a simple, but, yeah. but they're for ages 9 to 11, so... Yeah. So here he is in his armor form, okay. which, like, these are the ultimate ones. They cost a little bit. And that's when the moon hits him, I believe? Yeah, he's... It, well, like they said on the back of the DVD, I had to refresh my memory. Does it hit him in the eye like a big pizza pie? This is a total, uh, you know, because 
Thundercats was so popular, they put this show out, and I'm sure it kind of like copied a lot of like the story of Hang Thundercats, on. you know. Well, so okay, which again? So big, he has to go in the middle because he tip is it big. Over there. He's monster. Do I don't know if it's happening on you because I really tried not to look at any of these, but do they have the flying squid that he was on? Because that was. Oh, that's probably the second wave. That that'll be like. They'll sell that by itself. And I suppose this was about eighty bucks by itself as well. Yeah. But like I said, it's pretty cool. I got both waves, one and two, for three hundred and forty-one ships. So it was like three hundred nine plus tax. And they only charge. Big Bad Toy Store, you owe us. They only charge four dollars for shipping. I gave you a shout out. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Well, I gotta say, I'm in, I'm impressed with this. The money, on the other hand. You said they actually came down in price. So I'm a little scared to ask what they were before they came down in yeah. price. They literally would have been like six eighteen. <sighs> now you gotta buy the Thundercat Lair that too. Last bad boy here. That big this one. one? Right no, this one. Big, yeah. This one more. You didn't say Captain May. I Captain Bad Boy. I, don't I even said. Even know Captain May. Now this guy <clears throat> might be my favorite one. Buzzsaw. Dang, that's cool. Yeah, he's cool. These guys look like uh, um, Gundams almost. Mm. I bet you there was in a the little armor. bit of influence. Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure Silverhawk started in Japan, right? Almost. E- I want to say it was Korean designed. I'm not sure. But yes, look I would say saws. that too. Look at those saws. Look at those saws. What was the one that we were trying to figure out that Mark had found thrifting? And it looks like that one. Gundam. You know what I'm talking yeah, about? It was, that it was, Gundam. Yeah. 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 And it had that weird uh, USB plug. That weird Brandon it. thing? No, that was the one yeah, that yeah, said, yeah. Yeah. Sedlak had that. Oh, oh Sedlak had, had but that. But I, had, I right. found one of that same guy, but not the one that Sedlak had. Yeah. I, I got to say, man, I really like this. I really like the packaging of mm-hmm. this. I really hope they go down. Is there a limited number on these? Well, they're not making any more. They're I not going they're to? Gone. So it's secondary market or I bust? Heard, I heard they're going to... Uh, Maybe make another uh, another company is gonna make something. They might be more shiny. So oh, why did the uh, sorry, real quick, the the guys who did the toys that made us, they started their own toy company. Oh, and wow. I think they're bringing back that Brave Star, a bunch of the other old seventies, eighties cartoons. Brave Star was not that good, people. It was toys not that cool. good. Yeah, that's not, that no, no one lasted. cares about the cartoon. <laughs> So, and they got me on this. I probably wouldn't have needed to buy his throne, but I was like, what the hell? You have to. You I know? mean, come on. If you have Monstar, you got to have the throne, right? Well, I mean, I could have had someone probably 3D print it. But, oh, yeah. There's uh, plenty of posse idea. members that do that. Yeah. But, well, yeah. So, I mean. This was like 300. This one is so big. This one has to be on its. Yeah. So, pretty cool. I'm happy with them. That's a sweet throne, I'm, though. I'm I mean. glad I waited. I would have been mad had I bought them. I, I knew I wanted them. But yeah, I, but if you bought them full price, I'd have been so mad. Could have gotten them for 50% off. Yeah. So what are the ones that are coming up next that you've seen that you don't have right now that aren't out yet? I'm not even sure. So you did, so you don't know po- Poker Face? I can look quick. What, why? We're going to pop it up on secondary anyways. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah we we'll put, put it up there. We can put a picture up of the ones incoming. I'm sure it's probably uh, Copper Kid. <laughs> probably from all the, the missing ones. From, I think the, from put, the Planet of the Mimes. <laughs> From the Planet of the Mimes. I thought he was like, pew. Yeah, and he was from the Planet of the Mimes. Nobody's like, pew. Weirdos. Weirdos. Jeez, it's like fighting a Mr. Mime over here. (laughs) Brandon, where can we be found on the interwebs? These are cool. Thank you for bringing these in. On the interwebs, we can be found on YouTube, the Toy Posse. Um, We will hammer you down with Monstar's armor if you don't like and subscribe. Uh, you can find us on Instagram, the Toy Posse, or the Real Toy Posse underscore and MN Toy Posse, on X at Toy Posse, and on Facebook, MN Toy Posse, and the Toy Posse. Mark, thank you for bringing these in. Yes, thank these you. Are, You're not going to leave cool. with them, but thank you. These people really dig this stuff, man. I do too. I mean, it's fun to look at. I wouldn't buy it for the price. Would yet. you buy it for half that price? Yes. Price? Oh, in a heartbeat. Yeah, for like 150 bucks. Yeah, no, ship the all No, this. totally yeah. in a heartbeat. Because that's what they basically were. They yeah. Were like 150 dollars for like four of them ship. Right. But my version of half price and yours are two different so things. You would buy them for a quarter. Of I'll price. give you 20 bucks for all of them. You'd buy them for a quarter. 4.99, and that's my. Final 20 dollars. What do you need 10 bucks for? I'm not giving you five bucks for all these. <sighs> Sold. 